Has the WhatsApp snooping row, in fact, is getting deeper and deeper. Beyond World is One gets you exclusive access to cyber surveillance from NSO's headquarters located in Herzliya city of Israel. NSO has grabbed global attention and for all the wrong reasons too, specifically because of the Pegasus software as possible catastrophic implications. As the case of the spyware attack unfolds, Beyond's West Asia Bureau Chief Daniel Pagani traveled to Herzliya and brought us this exclusive report from the NSO headquarters. I am currently in the business quarter of Herzliya, north to Tel Aviv, the Israeli capital city. This quarter is where the cybersecurity company NSO is located. The NSO has been in the news worldwide in these days. Why so? Well, because WhatsApp, the powerful and very well-known system of communication that we all use, has filed a first-of-its-kind lawsuit against them. What is this lawsuit about? Well, WhatsApp says that a software produced by the NSO called the Pegasus has used their system for calls and for messages in order to get into phones. But the problem is that WhatsApp was not told this by the NSO. The NSO has a very different story to say. They say that their software, the Pegasus, which is a very powerful spying software which can access even the cameras and the microphone of the phones without the user even noticing that, is only sold to certified law enforcement agencies and to foreign government. Hence, they deem it impossible possible that foreign governments among their customers which are thoroughly vetted this is what at least the NSO says would have used this software in order to tackle normal civilians and normally this kind of software is used in order to access the phones of terrorists of or leaders of organized criminal network in order to prevent the spree of crime and violence and to save human lives but WhatsApp didn't take lightly the fact that whatever the case they had not been informed and they are certain about this violation. They say that they had to even update the version of WhatsApp in order to prevent this to happen more and more. And these kind of violations reached also India, where a number between 20 to 40 journalists, Dalit activists, human rights campaigners have been hit. Their phones have been hacked as well, and they are certainly not terrorists. Now the government of India is furious. They have requested WhatsApp immediately to let them know in detail what has happened because they want to take action. So this might be also a violation of the Indian law. WhatsApp is adamant. It says that they have already exchanged this kind of information with the Indian government, but the Indian government says that the information was very generic and was absolutely not specific. It didn't allow them to understand how severe was the issue. The deadline to discuss this is going to be the 4th of November, and we will see what happens between WhatsApp and the government of India. And we will try to understand if the government of India will eventually take on also the NSO or Israeli cyber security giant. Daniele Pagani reporting from Tel Aviv for Vion World is One.